In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Earth to visually plan a mission for Lychee. You will be able to see what your drone is recording and plan your shots accordingly. When you are done, you can save your virtual flight as a Lychee mission and record what you have visualized in Google Earth. You will need two pieces of software to do this. Google Earth Pro, which is now free, and Virtual Lychee Mission. Here are directions on where to download those pieces of software. You will also want to, using the Chrome browser, go to flylychee.com forward slant hub. Once there, select help and then go to get help on Mission Hub. Once you get to that page, scroll down uh, past the second video and you will ultimately find a link that says download DJI cameras field of view .kml. Click on that link and download the file. Once you have saved the file, go to the location, double click the file, and Google Earth will open and the DJI camera field of view formats will be installed. At that point, right click on the folder that has opened with the field of view and click Save to My Places. From that point, you want to go down to Preferences, and I prefer to check the box to make uh, radio buttons instead of uh, the check boxes. If you click on the button for your particular camera and double click the folder, you will open up with the correct field of view in the uh, window. You want to then go to a location. In my case, I'm going to Clarksville where I'm uh, doing this test flight. One note worthy of mentioning, if you go to Tools and select Options and then go to Navigate, you can change the speed that Google Earth moves from one place to another. It defaults to very slow and I recommend moving it to as fast as you can set it. Uh, that makes navigation a whole lot snappier. One item worthy of note is the fact that Google Earth image views are not necessarily the ones that you're going to see in the Lychee virtual app. Uh, these are dated images and you can't rely on them completely. In Google Earth, you want to, in my places, create a folder where you were actually going to store your mission. In my case, I have created a missions folder, and within that folder, I have created one where I'm gonna store the fly around of the ball fields. So I'm now zooming in on the area that I want to do the mission in. Uh, I can hold down the control key move the mouse up and down or right and left to scroll, or I can use the scroll wheel on the mouse. Uh, here I'm doing the uh, control movement with the mouse, but you can also use the uh, tilt uh, options in the upper right hand corner to tilt up or to tilt down, as the case may be, uh, to get things lined up the way you want them. Once you have that done, go up to Add Place Mark and enter, uh, in this case, number one. This will be our waypoint number one. And we'll just start moving around the field of view and lining up the specific view that we want for each of the shots, uh, in this case, number two, and so on. Using this procedure in Google Earth Pro, you are actually going to see the view that your camera sees on the drone, and you can line things up with the perspective that you actually want.
Remember to set the field of view and to increment your waypoint number each time you set a particular field of view. Once you have finished setting up all of your waypoints, go to the folder that you have been storing them in, right click on the folder, and select Save Place As. You're going to save this as a KML file. There are two options for saving the file. The one you want is KML. There is another option, KMZ. Do not select that format. Now that you have your file saved, we're going to launch Virtual Leachy Mission and we're going to import our file into that so we can actually save it as a mission. At this point, you want to go to Missions and select Import and you will get a dialog box where you will have the option to identify the KML file that you have previously saved. You will indicate that you're going to import views as waypoints and then point to the file that you previously saved and click on the button to import the file. At this stage, now that we have it loaded into Virtual Leachy Mission, we can make minor modifications to our file as we choose to, and then we're ultimately going to save this as a mission. You save the mission by going to the missions button and then giving it a name and telling it to save the mission. It will be linked to your mobile version of the application so that when you go to fly a mission, it will be there. Now, one of the neatest aspects of Virtual Leachy Mission is that you can actually output the file as a CSV file, which will cause it to load directly into Google Earth Pro. And you can look at the altitudes that you are flying and you can make sure that you're going to clear all of the obstacles that are in your path. One caveat worth mentioning here is that the imagery that you are looking at in Google Earth Pro may not be the most current image and there could be structures that were constructed after the imagery was captured, or trees could have grown taller, or any other obstacle could have come into play. So always take that with a grain of salt. As an example, the open field to the left of the ball diamonds 
is now a fully developed community park. Your mission will come in under temporary places and if you twirl that down you will see a movie camera icon. Double clicking on that icon will allow you to actually virtually fly the mission. If you want to make any additional changes to the mission, simply hop back over into Virtual Lychee Mission, click on the waypoints and make whatever adjustments you want to. You can then again re-export as a CSV file and take a look at the mission that you have now modified. If you have made changes to your mission, don't forget to save it so that you have the final version when you get out with your mobile application. I have intentionally modified this particular version of the mission to where it is low enough it is going to run into obstructions during the flight and that's where looking at the outputted mission in Google Earth Pro will raise some flags for you if you are down too low, if there are obstructions in your path and give you the opportunity to go back and modify the mission. So here's a look at the actual mission flown by my Mavic 2 Pro of the mission that I set up in Google Earth Pro. As you can see, the mission very closely resembles what we looked at in Google Earth Pro as we set up the various shots that we wanted and exported the mission. To me, this is just a fantastic way to get the shot you want of any mission that you set up. And in closing, here are a couple of important points to remember. 